Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was weighing a big shipment of heavy banana crates. It's heavy lifting, and Mr. Monkey was having to work extra hard. Oh my! A visitor? Who could it be? It's Captain Crocodile and his great big boat. Ahoy, Mr. Monkey, said Captain Crocodile. Ahoy, Captain. What seems to be the trouble? It's my boat, Mr. Monkey. It never stays where I leave it. When I sail out to my favorite swimming spot and drop anchor, my boat just floats away. I'm always having to swim after it. Captain Crocodile is a great swimmer, but it must be exhausting chasing that boat all over the bay. Mr. Monkey inspects Captain Crocodile's big boat. First, he checks the steering wheel. He checks the horn. Then he checks the anchor. Hmm. This seems like a small anchor for such a big boat. According to Mr. Monkey's scale, it's not very heavy. Hmm. Mr. Monkey has a big idea. So he swings off to his workbench. Now let's see. Captain Crocodile has a great big boat and a very small anchor. Anchors are meant to be big and heavy to keep the boat in place. Perhaps the boat needs a bigger, heavier anchor, one that's heavy enough to keep the boat from drifting away. Hmm, Mr. Monkey doesn't have a big, heavy anchor, but maybe he can make one. He'll need some heavy things and something big to put them in. One of those banana crates should do the trick. Now Mr. Monkey just needs to fill it with heavy things. Oh, and of course, Mr. Monkey will also need his trusty monkey wrench. Mr. Monkey has replaced Captain Crocodile's anchor with a bigger, heavier anchor. It's heavy enough to keep the boat from drifting away, but it's not too heavy for Captain Crocodile to lift. You've saved my boat, Mr. Monkey! And just in time for my afternoon swim! What's this? The boat won't budge. Well, at least we know the anchor works. That was definitely some heavy lifting. Now Mr. Monkey deserves a light snack. Super awesome! I'm gonna play every game Oscar has! Me too! That does sound like a lot of fun. But please, mind your manners and clean up after you play. Don't leave Oscar and Dr. Octopus with a mess, okay? We won't. 
Finny promise, Mama. Here we are. Ah, oh, hello, hello, hello. I thought I heard someone out here. Hi, Mrs. Shark, Finny, Sammy. Oh, and you must be Sparky. Come on in, kids. Oscar's in his bedroom ready for your play date. Fantastic! I'd better get on with my chores. So much to do on my day off. See you later, Mrs. Shark. Have a good time, kids. And remember what I said about your manners and cleaning up after yourselves. Bye now. Enter. Your room is so cool! It looks like a science lab. I know! It's so I can do all my sciencey science stuff anytime I want. I'm a real scientist. Oh, yuck! What's this? It's my latest experiment. His name is Moldy. I'm gonna see how big he gets. And speaking as a scientist, I'd say he's, um, bigger than yesterday? Ooh, take a look at this. Ooh, ah, science. Amazing. Hey, what's this? Oh, don't touch that. Oh, come on. <sighs> That's my machine. Now I'm gonna have to set it all up again. Sorry, Oscar. I can help fix it. <sighs> no, no. Let's just play something else. Like this. We can build a robot. Ooh, what does the robot do? Dance and sing and play games? <laughs> Mere child's play. This robot's gonna do what I want it to do. And what I wanted to do is my chores. If the robot can clean the floors, make my bed, do the dishes, fold my clothes, take the garbage out, then I'll have more time to make big important discoveries. And like practice my yo-yo and stuff. Oh, yeah, check it out. Come on, Oscar, let's start the robot. I want to be a scientist too. Okay but I'm the head scientist. Because I have the lab coat. Now, to be a good scientist, you must follow directions. Step one, put the big box in the middle. Okay, Finny the scientist moving the big box to the middle, check. Step two, put one wheel in the bottom right hole. Got it. Sammy the Scientist putting wheel in this hole. Oh, there's another wheel here. What do we do with it, Oscar the Scientist? Hold on, Sammy. We have to go step by step. Step three, put other wheel into other hole. Oh, okay. There. Snip, snappity. Step four, twist the arm in the socket. Twisting the arm. There. Oh, there. Okay, on to step five. How many more steps are there, Oscar? I want to play with the robot. Um, let me see. 10, 15, 20, 257. 257? That's a lot of steps. Then we'd better keep building. Building things to do. Building things do 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 building things do 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 building things. Are we done? Are we done? Not yet. Really? What did we miss? Nothing. I just want to add a broom so it can always be sweeping. I'll be right back. Don't touch the robot. I want to touch it. No, Sammy. Oscar said not to. But I want to! No, Sammy. This is Oscar's house, and Mama said to mind our manners. Oscar asked us not to touch it, so we shouldn't touch it. Sammy? 
Don't. Don't touch it. Oops. Touched it. <gasps> Sammy, no! Might as well keep touching it now. Take this off. Do, 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 do. Put it here. Do, 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 do. Put it there. Do, 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 do. And some more. Take this off. Do, 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 do. Put it here. Do, 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 do. Put it there. Do, 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 do. And we're done. Wow! What have you done to my robot? We sciced it up. See? You wanted it to clean floors, right? Watch this. It's alive! <laughs> Sweeping floor. See? It's doing your chores. Just like you wanted. Yeah, I guess it is. Making bed. Oh, wow! It's gonna do everything you wanted, Oscar. Folding clothes. Wait! What are you doing? You're supposed to be folding my clothes, not tying them in knots! Not where the dishes are supposed to go. Ah! Uh -oh. Take garbage out. Dad! Oh no! Dr. Octopus! We've got to save him! Take garbage out. We can't get close to the robot! What are we gonna do, Oscar? I have an idea. Hold on! You'll be playing with your yo-yo. I'm not playing, Finny. Hey, robot, watch this. I call this one Around the World. How about Walk the Dogfish? And finally, the Forward Toss. Powering down. Whoa, thank you. That was some wild ride. Now, do you mind telling me what happened with your robot, Oscar? Usually your experiments uh, don't go quite so haywire. Actually, Dr. Octopus, this is my fault. Oscar told me not to touch the robot, but I couldn't resist. Me too. We made a mess of everything. We're really sorry. If it makes you guys feel any better, there was a pretty good chance this sort of thing was going to happen anyways. His experiments do have a way of getting out of hand. What a mess! I guess instead of trying to build a robot to do all my chores, I should have just done them myself. Now I have to clean up even more than I would have before. You sure do. Are you up to the task, scientists? Yes, yes sir! Tidy up, do 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 do. Tidy up, do 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 do. Tidy up, do 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 do. Tidy up. <sighs> Oscar, would you get that? I'm too tired to get up. Me too. I know someone who could get the door for you. No! no! Hi, everyone. How was your play date? I hope they didn't leave you with a mess. No, no, uh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Let's head home now. Bye, Oscar and Dr. Octopus. Thank you for letting us play. We had a super awesome, amazing time. I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> do 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 Captain Mary, I see your sub's a little messy. Let me see what I can do for you. Let me find your vehicle. Parade float, paddle boat, submarine. It's definitely a submarine. Let's see how messy this submarine is. Is it a little messy, medium messy, or super duper messy? I'd say for a submarine, this is super duper messy. Let's see what type of mess we're dealing with. Slimy seaweed, sticky leaves, or stinky garbage. It's definitely slimy seaweed. That'll be four tokens, Captain Mary. One, two, three, four.
soapy underwater adventure? Thank you, Captain Carl. Aye, aye, Captain Mary. <laughs> Today, the Bumble Nums are going to make gushing green grape juice. But what's the secret ingredient? Nine bunches of green grapes. The Bumble Nums are in the vineyard waiting for the grapes to turn green. You might as well dance while you wait, right, Humble? Yum! How about you, Grumble and Stumble? Yum! See that, Bumble Nums? The grapes are turning green. You know what that means. They're ripe and ready to pick. Yum! Now remember, Bumble Nums, we need nine bunches of green grapes. Go grab them. Aren't you going to go up too, Grumble? Yum! Oh, you're going to catch the green grapes. Great plan. One. Two. Yo. Three. Four. Yum! Yum! Huh, you just need two more bunches of green grapes, Bumble Nums. Eight, nine. Super swinging, Bumble Nums. Let's get these green grapes back to the kitchen. Yum! 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 You made it, Bumble Nums. Do you have all nine bunches of green grapes? Great! Now that we have the secret ingredient to make our gushing green grape juice, it's time for the cooking countdown! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Humble Mums, you've done it again. Now, take a great big gulp of that gushing green grape juice. How does it taste, Bumble Mums? 